How's it going fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC and today we are doing the full review of the Kyle Noseworthy Bake Apple in 01 Tool Steel. This is the knife that we tested for the entire month of June and I have a lot to share with you guys about it. So I am really excited to go over this because this is a very cool little EDC fixed blade and I honestly had a blast testing this for 30 days. So I'm going to lower you guys down a little bit. That way we can use my sweatshirt as like a backdrop for this to focus better, hopefully. And um, yeah, we have a ton of stuff to talk about. We are going to also go over the extra small Knipex pliers here that I tested for the month as well. I don't have as much to say about these because I've already tested the next size up, the 5 inch, and these genuinely aren't that different other than just being smaller and lighter, really. So... We'll go over these at the end, but if you want to know beforehand if, sh if you should buy them or not, yes. I'll just say yes right away because they're fantastic. But we'll go over those a little bit more in detail at the end. But let's lower you guys down and get you a little more in the light here. Okay, I'm hoping that this will focus a hair more. The lighting is terrible in here. We've been having a rainstorm all day here in New Hampshire. So um, let me just adjust this real quick. It, it's very it's very dark and dreary, and you guys know my camper does not have very good lighting at all. Okay, so the Bake Apple, a small EDC and bushcraft fixed blade made by Kyle Noseworthy in Newfoundland, Canada. He is a custom knife maker. He has a homestead, a beautiful little family. He's a, just an absolutely fantastic guy, um, a Christian just a great all-around good dude with fantastic morals. He also has incredible attention to detail, beautiful creativity, and he makes a lot of really nice tools for the avid outdoorsmen. Um, also, you know, construction workers, tradesmen, people that hike, uh, just anybody that uses a knife, that uses their hands. So, the Bake Apple is his smallest offering. Mine is in this beautiful curly maple that is dyed gray. And then I have black and blue liners with a really nice thick blade stock that I don't recall the actual thickness of. I, I think it was on the paper, but I don't recall. But it is in 01 Tool Steel. It is hand forge finished. It is in a saber grind, and it was sent to me with a hand-finished edge, and that's what he does on all of his knives. He does the grind lines, and then he hand sharpens them on wet stones or whatever stone, really, he, he deems necessary for that specific knife. We don't have a lanyard hole or anything on this, nothing fancy, no jimping, just a plain old little fixed blade knife named after a tree in Canada, I think. He also made the leather sheath for it, handmade, hand dyed, all stitched by him. Now, I am going to say right away that this review is going to be pretty short and to the point because it's, it's just an awesome little fixed blade and there's nothing to it really, so there's not really a ton to go over. Um, what I was testing the most out of everything was the ergonomics, ease of carry slash use, and edge retention. I will say this is one of the most comfortable knives I've ever used because there's nothing to it. This swell at the back is actually very comfortable, and this area here really allows you to lock in, so you don't need jimping or anything. It has a great blade shape for anything from woodwork to skinning game to food processing. However, in one of my updates, I did mention that the blade thickness was a little thick for certain things like apples and pears, but otherwise just an awesome all around knife for camp cooking. I did do woodwork with this in the woods. I was doing some work with limbs and small sticks, making kindling, stuff like that. Fantastic. And especially with that saber grind, it will do some light batoning and split through wood with ease. 
The edge retention for 01 Tool Steel was actually the best I've ever had. I can't even do the full review on this yet because I haven't sharpened this. I didn't need to, and my reviews aren't done unless I do a month of consecutive testing and a full sharpening. However, within the whole 30 days of me using this all day every day, I didn't need to sharpen it once. I only stropped it with 1.5 micron um diamond emulsion spray on a strop from richter knives and it just continued to come back you know hair popping sharp every time i didn't have to sharpen it so that speaks for itself in terms of the heat treatment on this 01 tool steel it is very well done the edge retention is phenomenal um one thing that i did mention in another video as well is the only thing fit and finish wise that i did not appreciate was this area here by the heel this seems to have been left unfinished and it is very sharp i didn't notice it until week three and basically what happened was i was using the knife and my finger slid forward just a hair and um this is very sharp here so other than that the fit and finish is absolutely perfect on it and this is just you know a little bit sharp but beautiful fit and finish on this just an, a gorgeous piece. It rides very nice on the belt. It conceals very well as it is absolutely tiny. We will bring in a bench made bug out. The dogs are going to start barking because Nicole just got home. Hey, stop. So even smaller than a bench made bug out. Just an awesome little EDC fixed blade. Very ergonomic. Great edge retention. Very comfortable. I believe these come in at $165. Uh, maybe 185 but um, that's Canadian dollars. I did get a discount on this for being a content creator and wanting to work with Kyle, but I, I did pay him money, and it wasn't like an extravagant discount. Um, so he definitely got money for it, and this is a non-biased review on this knife. It honestly just performed amazingly well, and I loved doing everything with it. Um, highly, highly recommend. Like, 10 out of 10, I recommend this 100%. It is one of the best small EDC fixed blades I've ever used. I do have a video showing some other small fixed blades of this size with thinner blade stock and thicker blade stock. This is not something I would recommend for somebody that cuts a lot of cardboard. This is much more like a uh, woods knife, a hiking knife, an outdoors knife. Um, something for just the avid outdoorsman. If you are obsessed with cutting cardboard and obsessed with thin, slicey geometry, this is not the knife for you, obviously. But if you are looking for a utility knife, a backup bushcraft knife, or a light task bushcraft knife, this is absolutely right up your alley. And I cannot recommend it more. It is just, uh, or I can't recommend it enough, I think I should say. <laughs> it's really nice. There is some light rusting on there that the camera's not going to pick up, but that was from getting stuck in a rainstorm here in New Hampshire with this on my belt. So that, you know, is expected, but everything else is absolutely flawless on this thing. It was a pleasure to use and carry. So I highly recommend it. Please go check out Kyle's work. I will link his YouTube down in the description below. He also has a website where he's constantly doing drops on these. And these little pliers, just go buy them. They're lightweight. They're very useful, very precise. I really enjoyed carrying these in conjunction with my Victorinox Super Tinker. They're very useful for grabbing things in tight places. I did use these for a plumbing job on a toilet. They're just an awesome, lightweight little pair of pliers. I actually would recommend them for most people over the next size up because there's no point in getting the next size up. These do everything that those other ones did in a tinier package. So, sorry that I had to buzz through this, guys. I have somewhere to go. Um, and, you know, we did the updates throughout the month on this. So, like, there's only so much I can say about it. But basically, it's it's very impressive. I've never had O1 Tool Steel that works this well. Um, I would love to see Kyle do a thinner, slicier version of this knife in a full flat ground deal. Um, for us who do want more geometry characteristics but this is just an amazing little knife and i i loved using it i honestly can't wait to use it even more and i just used it for 30 days straight so i hope that you guys found that informative i will see you on the next video go use your shit learn how to sharpen your knives and i will see you so soon i love you guys take care